Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is March 21st, 2020, in case you're watching this years from now. <laughs> Who knows? And we are kind of like right at the, like where things are starting to really get crazy with this whole coronavirus thing. So today I thought I would sit down and put some makeup on my face, kind of talk about my life updates, because I haven't really sat down to film a video in a really long time. Um, for those of you who have followed my story or are, you know, have been around for a while for my channel, you know that I have a six month old baby and I just recently went back to work. So things have been like a little crazy going back to work. First of all, any new mom going back to work, it's already crazy. But on top of that, we have this whole coronavirus thing going on and like, it's just been a really strange time as I'm sure you guys all have very similar stories. It's just been wild. So Today I thought we would sit down and just kind of talk about things and play with some makeup. Kind of have a little bit of an escape from everything that's been going on. Okay, the first thing I want to play with is Ofra um, sent me for review purposes this little lip care kit, lip care squad. It has four lipstick looking things in it and there's a lip exfoliator, a lip gloss stick, interesting, a pure vitamin E stick, and a moisturizing lipstick in the color rose. I've had really dry lips lately. I think it's like the season's changing and maybe something to do with allergies. I am going to put on a lipstick later, but I think just before we even get going, I'm probably... Uh, the lip exfoliator would be nice, but I kind of feel like I should do that over the sink. I'm just going to use the vitamin E stick for now. It looks just like a lipstick. It doesn't really have a smell. One thing with everybody being on lockdown, well, we'll get into it in a minute, but I'm sitting in front of my window and there's so many people walking by. It's pretty cool to see just like families out going for walks and stuff. Let's look at the positive side, right? That feels really, really nice on my lips. Just to take a quick peek at it. Ooh, pretty. It's almost like a, well, ooh, it smells good too. It's like a sheer, that looks really pretty. I can't wait to use that. I love stuff like that for my lips. This lip gloss stick is odd. It looks like it kind of melted in transit and it has like little sweat bubbles on it or maybe it's supposed to look like that. And then here's the, oh, interesting, the exfoliator looks kind of like a smoothie <laughs> in a stick. Very cool. I'm excited to really hop in and use all of these, but that vitamin E balm feels really nice on my lips. Okay, I'm gonna do my face makeup now and I think these are all product, actually no, there's two new products. The primers you've seen me use in multiple videos before, Milk, gripping primer and then my NARS smudge Group eyeshadow base for concealer I'm actually gonna use a new one I did do a Sephora haul which I'm gonna film right after this I don't know what's gonna go up first first so you might have already seen me talk about this but this is the new hourglass uh, vanish concealer in the color silk so I've used this once before and I'm kind of like on the fence whether or not I like it. So I'm going to use that again today. And then for foundation, I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way powder foundation. They sent me this in PR and I was so, so, so excited. They also sent a brush with it. I haven't used the brush yet. I've been using the actual powder foundation for a couple of weeks now. I love it, you guys. It It's very reminiscent of the liquid Born This Way. I mean, imagine that, right? But it's a powder. Um, and I just love the way, it, it reminds me a lot of the Makeup Forever Velvet skin, like it has the same finish and all of that. So anyways, that's what we're going to be putting on our face today. And then while I'm doing that, I'll just kind of talk to you guys about what has been going on. So I went back to work on March 3rd. So that was kind of before all of this Corona madness had really hit. I mean, I think at that point we were very aware of it. It was starting to become a thing, but it wasn't, it wasn't a big thing. It wasn't a pandemic at that point. It was just like a, hey, this is happening, be aware. By like two or three days into working is kind of when things started to get a little bit crazy. And I remember Thursday, so that would have been like the 6th of March, I sent Matt a text and I was like, hey, I think we should just stop at Costco on the way home just to get some essentials because I, I just I have this feeling that things are going to start getting crazy. I had been reading a lot of like news articles that day and just in the office hearing a lot of people talk about things. I have a coworker who we used to work in the CIA. I heard a lot of chitter chatter going on. Stopped at Costco on the way home and it was <laughs> freaking madness you guys. 
it was out of control. There wasn't any toilet paper. There wasn't any paper products at all. There wasn't any baby wipes. There wasn't any diapers. It was like madness. The one thing this whole time that's been worrying me the most is baby stuff. So like baby formula for Lincoln. The thought of not being able to feed your baby, it, it's it's a really scary situation. So it does something to your mind. Luckily, Costco had formula, so we stocked up on formula, and we got a few things. You know, we got some sort of essentials. At that point, they still had bread and eggs and stuff like that. So we we kind of stocked up on what we could, but it was it was just wild. So that was like last Thursday. And then last weekend, we decided that's kind of when things started to escalate really quickly. The media started to really focus on it, talking about things like social distancing and stuff like that. So we went to the grocery store again to kind of really just stock up on everything that we couldn't find at Costco. More baby formula, toilet paper, which by the way, we still haven't found any toilet paper. <laughs> That's been the one thing that we haven't been able to find, but you know, just some of the essential products. I had kind of a moment of panic where I was like, oh my gosh, I feel like we need more baby formula. I don't know what it is about the dang baby formula, but like I had started reading more and more on like Facebook and social media that like formula was being sold out everywhere. So I was like, oh my gosh, we need to get baby formula. Yesterday, we were actually backing up a little bit. So in the middle of all of this, trying to stock up my pantry, stock up my fridge on things, essential products. With my work situation, originally we were doing this rotation where like two, we would split the whole group in half and half of the group would work from home for, I forgot to set my under eyes, I'm using Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. Um, half of the group would work from home for two weeks, the other half would go into the office, and then we would switch. I'm not too sure of the exact reasoning behind the two weeks and all of that, but that was kind of what was decided. And so Matt and I were selected to be on the rotation of working from the office at first. We don't work together, by the way. It's just similar situations. Anyway, so we both were continuing to go into the office. And then two days later, it was directed that everybody work from home. So instead of going into the office, then everybody was directed to work from home. And then kind of around that same time is when San Francisco announced their, what is it called? Safety in place or basically their city lockdown shelter in place. Then things kind of started to get like really real to me and I was like, oh my goodness, like this is really happening. Like this is no longer fun and games. This is no longer like, haha, you're buying all the toilet paper. Like this is really a thing. I have a friend who lives in San Francisco and she was kind of telling me what is going on there. And I was like, this is probably going to happen to all the cities. Eventually it's going to happen to all the cities. And as of today, it hasn't happened in all of the cities. I think New York might have announced it today. Um, and oh, this brush is really dense. I don't know that I love it. <laughs> This would be really good for contouring, I think. It'd be really good for contouring, but I don't know if I love it for powder foundation. I think all of California did, it's not just San Francisco anymore, it's all of California, and I think New York City announced this morning. So then I had my moment of panic, like my true, true moment of panic yesterday, where I was like, Matt, I'm just gonna do one more trip to the grocery store. Like, I feel like we have everything we need, but I just wanna make sure um, and I kind of want to see if they have toilet paper because we still don't have toilet paper. I didn't find it, by the way. So I went to Publix, which is our grocery store out here in Charlotte, and um, Target. So first I went to Publix, and I'll insert some pictures. And I'm sure this is no surprise to you guys. This is more just like documentation purposes for me or for people who are watching this video years from now. Um, but the grocery, the shelves are empty, you guys. Like, it's, it's just, it is scary and wild to see empty shelves like no bread no milk no eggs no canned foods no dairy um no produce no meats like nothing it is just it is wild and bizarre in so many ways and to see that in person i i started to panic and i'm not the kind of person at least i haven't been up until this point that was really panicking too too much over everything i was being cautious practicing my social distancing using hand sanitizer 
all of that stuff, but I didn't truly panic until I saw the grocery store like that. And then we went to Target and it looked exactly the same. Baby formula, gone. Baby wipes, gone. Like, and luckily we prepared, we've stocked up, we have enough of all of that stuff. But seeing all of that really, really made me panic. Okay, I went ahead and did my brows off camera just because those take forever. I did use the Anastasia Brow Wiz in the color taupe in case you're interested. Now we're gonna hop into eyes. And I have a few things from Ofra Cosmetics. They did send all of this to me for review purposes and I'm so excited. I haven't really had a chance to dig into Ofra Cosmetics too much. And I'm really excited about what they sent me. So the first thing they sent me were these two eyeshadow palettes here. So the first one is the Sweet Dreams Signature Palette, and the second one is the Galaxy Signature Palette. This is purples right here. So pretty. My sister is a huge purple fan. I have a feeling she would really, really like this one. And then the Sweet Dreams one is like right up my alley. I opened this and gasped. I was so excited for it. So this is like pinky, like movie colors, and I stinking love it. So I think this is what I'm going to use. The middle color of each one is kind of like a highlighter. Oh, it is a highlighter. This is their Pillow Talk highlighter. And then on this one, it is Neptune. I don't know if that's one of their highlighters or not. I'm sure it probably is. So I'm going to use this. And then they also sent me their liquid shadows and I'm so pumped for these. I am a huge liquid eyeshadow fan. I think within the past like year, year and a half, I really just started absolutely loving liquid shadows. They're so quick. They're really intimidating at first, but once you get the hang of it, like they're so quick, they're so easy. You could easily get like a whole eye look out of one single liquid shadow. So when I saw these in the mail, I was like super duper pumped about it. There's a couple of colors in particular that I'm really excited about these two right here. So there's more of like a taupey color, which is called penthouse and I really like taupey kind of, ooh, they're kind of like a metallic finish. They remind me a lot of the Bare Minerals ones. I wasn't expecting that for some reason, but I like it. The Bare Minerals ones I really, really like. And then I really like the color Rosé, which is kind of like a rose gold color. I feel like this would go really good with the, the palette that I have, the Sweet Talk palette. So there's those two. And then there's also more of a gold which is called Fortune. Yeah, definitely like a bronzy gold here on the bottom. And then the last one is Five Star, which is kind of like a champagne. I like colors like this too, like a champagne beige. So here's what all of those colors look like. I think the taupey one is my favorite. I think that might be the one I used today. So I'm gonna try to incorporate that with the eye look and we'll just kind of see what happens. I'm gonna start with the first color in this palette, which is kind of like a salmony pink, and just buff that all over my lids, and then we'll kind of see what happens. So going back to the whole COVID-19 thing, I'm almost done talking about it, and we're just gonna move on. <laughs> I'm sure you guys are tired of hearing about it, but I just wanna say that it is a wild time we're living in, you know, with all the schools closing down, the daycares closing down, sports, you know, things being delayed, um, restaurants closing down here in Charlotte. The only thing available right now is carry out. And it's just, it is wild, you guys. And I think it's so important, like now more than ever, to check in with people that you care about, check in with your parents, you know, our, I don't consider my parents elderly by any, any means. I'm going to go to the second color right here, but they are senior aged and you know, of course I worry about them. I worry about being exposed to the virus, um, worry about them being exposed to the virus. And I just, I think now more than ever, it's just really important to check in with those that you love, you know, practice your social distancing. We will get through this. This too shall pass and try not to panic. I'm probably not a good example of that, but I'm just trying to get myself in a different headspace and not think about it so much. We're now in a situation where we're just going to stay home and see what happens. We have no reason really to leave the house between now and whenever we run out of food. So we're going to hang out as much as we can, get out of the house and walk around when we can. Um, for now, you can even still get in your car and take a drive. You know, if you really need to get out of the house and maybe you don't feel like walking, get in your car, take a drive. Ooh, 
these go on so nicely. I really like it. This is the color Penthouse. This is the more taupey one. I feel like this is one that, again, you could probably just put it on your lids all by itself and it would look so good. I am going to take my brush and just kind of buff out the edges a little bit. That looks really pretty. Do you guys see that? I love that. Okay, I'm going to line my upper lash line and my lower waterline with a pencil eyeliner. This is the Maybelline uh, Tattoo Studio. It's the black one. I've talked to you guys a lot about the brown version of this, but I have recently started using the black version of it, and I do really like it. I kind of forgot how much I really do enjoy black eyeliner. I kind of stuck to brown there for a while. And although I still love brown, there's something about black that just really, really makes your eyes pop. Okay, and then for mascara, I have recently purchased, this was one of my March purchases. So if you guys have been following me, you know, throughout the year, you know I'm on a low buy this year, where my commitment was originally one product per month. It's kind of turned into like two products per month that I've been buying, but still a relatively low buy. So um, Thrive Cosmetics has is now sold at Ulta. So I was at Ulta purchasing the other thing that I bought for March, which I'll talk to you guys about in another video. And I saw this little tiny display for Thrive Cosmetics. And I had heard um, Jan Beauty talk about Jessica Braun here on YouTube talking about the, this mascara. It's the Extensions Mascara, Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara, and it's a tubing mascara. It is so crazy, you guys. It's like so she said she really likes it. So when I saw it, I was like, you know what? I kind of want to try that. And basically, I don't know that I've ever used a tubing mascara before, but it coats your lashes and basically creates like a tube around each hair. And when you, it's waterproof, kind of. I mean, it's not waterproof, but you can splash water on it. It doesn't flake. It doesn't look weird. It doesn't smudge or anything like that. But when you wet your face at the end of the night, you kind of like pull at your lashes and it comes off in like little tubes. It is so weird and it's kind of cool if you're somebody who likes to pick at things, which I have to admit I kind of like to pick at things, then you'll, you'll probably really enjoy taking this mascara off. But aside from that, it does look pretty decently good on your lashes too. I feel like you can't really see it working until two coats, so this is one coat. You know, nothing crazy yet, right? And there is two coats. So I think the second coat is when it really comes to life. But so far, I've really been liking the mascara. Okay, for cheeks, nothing new. I've talked about all these products in videos before, but my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, my MAC Bouncy Blush, or whatever these are called, Glow Play Blush in the color Blush Please. And then for highlighter, I'm going to use my little Natasha Denona Duo, and I'm going to use the highlighter out of this. So... So yeah, that's kind of what's been going on with me. Um, I did film a whole video about all of this that I will be posting at some point in time, but I did also want to kind of announce to you guys and let you know that I, this is weird, I haven't like said this. I mean, I've said it to people, but like, I, starting April 1st, am going to be a stay-at-home mom, so I am no longer going to be working um, a, you know, a standard desk nine-to-five job that I get paid for. Instead, I'm going to be doing the mom thing, and I'm so, so, so excited about it. It's something that Matt and I planned for, um, but I did want to go back to work and try it out and see, you know, the work working mom life, if I w wanted to do that or if I could do that, and I decided very quickly that that's not what I wanted to do and so yeah I, I did again I filmed a video all about it and I actually started filming that video at the end of December when this whole thing like became a reality um, is when I kind of started to, to film clips here and there and I filmed the whole process of becoming a stay-at-home mom so I am going to post that video at some point I don't know when um, I want to finish working first so that I can, you know, film that process too. But yeah, I'm so excited, you guys. I I can't wait to just to fully dedicate all my time to Lincoln. I'm somebody who really, really loved maternity leave. I know that some people don't enjoy it. Some people can't wait to get back to work. Some people hate the fact that they're not interacting with adults on a daily basis. And I get that, but going back to work was so, so hard for me. And I 
I just, I love being at home. I'm a homebody, which is one, one of the reasons why this whole like staying at home, shelter in place thing, it doesn't really bother me because I stay home all the time anyways, especially just recently coming off of maternity leave like and having a new baby. I think towards the end there we did you know, go places and I was trying to just expose him to more things to get him used to being out and being around people. But I mean, I'm used to staying at home anyways. I love it. I enjoyed it. I loved being with my baby. I loved creating a routine. I loved taking care of the house. I loved getting dinner ready. Like, I feel like that is just kind of what I'm meant to do and what I'm meant to be doing at this point in my life. So I cannot wait. And because of that, I will hopefully have some more time for YouTube. I was a little worried there, you know, being a working mom, working full time, mom full time. In my mind, I was like, how am I gonna squeeze in this YouTube thing? And it's hard, it's really hard. And so now I can kind of get back to what I was doing on maternity leave. I think I can maybe start to try to film during the day a little bit more, do more day in the life videos. You guys really liked those Vlogmas style videos. Um, so I, I'm so excited and I cannot wait. I'm gonna spray my face really quick. This is MAC Fix Plus. And then for lips, so Clarence, now my hair is like so So Clarence sent over this new, it's called Lip Comfort Oil Intense. And this is in the number three, which is like a berry color, I believe. I thought there was a color name. Oh, Intense Raspberry. And I really, I really like hydrating lipsticks. I'm not a huge fan of matte lipsticks anymore. So this really appealed to me. It's kind of like an oil with color in it. And I think this will really help with my dry lips. Dang, that is really pigmented. And it smells like raspberries. And then this is just a Bite Beauty lip liner in the color 34. It is similar color to this. So hopefully they go well together. It smells so good, you guys. Oh, it feels so nice on the lips. Oh, and you don't need a whole lot. I love this. I mean, I know I just put it on my lips, but so far I love it. All right, guys, so here is the finished look. My hair is so flat. I really need to go and like get it re-highlighted and just like do something with it. So never mind the hair, but here's the finished makeup look. I hope that you enjoyed this chit chat, get ready with me. I'm filming a lot today, so a lot of stuff is coming up on my channel. I hope that you stick around and I'll talk to you next time. Mwah. Bye.